Hey everyone, I'm Connie Henriquez with Star Loving Life and today's video is about how to get over a breakup. Now, I can admit that breakups suck. Even when you're dating someone who you know is so not good for you or the relationship was not ideal, breakups still suck. So before I even start with any advice or how to handle it, let me just get that out of the way. I get it, I agree. Listen, breakups stink. So aside from that, how to move on from a breakup, right? So we agree that breakups stink, whether that it's for the best or for not, whatever. Like when you spend a lot of time with someone and all of a sudden, whether they were a jerk or not, and then you're not with them, yeah, you kind of feel a little scared because you know, you're know you used to the routine, you're used to having that person with you, you're used to sharing your life with them, they know everything about you. You know, it just, it seemed easier, but the reality is this breakup is probably the best thing to ever happen to you. You just don't realize it yet. And so I'm gonna help you realize it so that way it helps you move on quicker, okay? Some people take days, I don't wanna say days, some people take weeks or months or years to get over a breakup. Do not be that person, okay? Because you don't have to, and it's actually quite simple. The first thing you need to realize is that the breakup is a really good thing. And what that means, and of course, there's different reasons why you could break up, but what you wanna remember is when you're with the person that you're ideally supposed to be with at this point in time, there'll be no question about breaking up. So the fact that you guys broke up says something about your relationship. And that just means that maybe it's time to move on. And if it is time to move on, and whether it's not time to move on, you have to embrace it anyway. And I'm gonna tell you why. If you embrace the breakup, one of two things will happen. One, you're gonna move forward faster, or two, the person, if they really were the one, is gonna come back. Because once you start feeling good about yourself, amazing shit starts to happen. So the first thing you need to do is, and listen, take however long you need to mourn. If you need a couple days, couple weeks, couple years, God help you, take that to mourn but you really don't have to, okay? It could take literally a couple of days. So what you wanna do is, and it's so easy to start fresh in the morning because when you go to sleep, you stop thinking. You're not thinking anything, you go to sleep, you wake up. In the morning, you're actually quite fresh and you're not thinking thoughts from the day before or the week before, or you're not thinking about this specific person. So the best time to think about this is as soon as you wake up because you're kind of clear-minded, okay? And so the first thing you wanna do is wake up in the morning, and you wanna think about yourself, and you wanna think about exactly what kind of life you would wanna have at this point. What kind of things do you wanna to start to do? What kind of things do you wanna start distracting yourself with, really getting your life on track? So I always say to all my clients, whenever they come in and they're going through a breakup, I say, if you weren't dating the guy, or even before you met the guy, what would you be doing that would equate to having an amazing life? And so very often, it's, keeping yourself busy, it's trying new things, it's getting out of the house, it's you know doing things that you're passionate about. It's really the bottom line, getting a freaking life. And I say that and I mean that as a joke, but not really. It's about getting a life because when you're busy with things that you're interested in and you're busy with stuff that you're doing to better yourself, and to learn about yourself and grow yourself. And again, it could be learning a new sport, it could be, um, you know, taking a class. And I don't mean a class because some people are like, oh, it's so expensive. You could take a $10 photography class at some of the photo, you know, photography stores. You can go to uh, the library or the high schools and they have continuing education classes. So the bottom line is you wanna get out of the house and you wanna start co-mingling with other people. That's the first thing. If you're a homebody, and there have been times in my life where I've been a homebody, that's fine too. Then you want to, you know, go at home and start maybe taking some online courses or painting or doing things that are creative. What you want to start doing is you want to start getting your life back on track, focused on you. Because when you're happy and you can get back to the stage of getting happy, that's when you can attract all the great things plus an ideal partner for you or if let's say this last person was an ideal partner for you, chances are they may come back. But the bottom line is very often when there are breakups, it's because there is a disconnect of some sort. 
but you always want to make sure that you focus on yourself first, because unless you focus on yourself, you don't have anything to give anyone. And that's the one thing you want to remember. And a lot of people lose themselves in a relationship and you can't do that because it's like, really, if you lose yourself within a relationship, first of all, you give away all your power. And not that that really means anything, but it gives away your own personal identity. And when you give that away, God forbid something were to happen to that person, they break up with you, God forbid something bad happened, which would never happen. But just in case, you always want to be so self-sufficient mentally up here that you will be okay. And it sounds silly because when you're in a relationship, you love that person wholeheartedly, absolutely. But you always want to make sure you have things going on for yourself. Because when you have things going on for yourself, you make different choices, you're more excited, you're more happy about life, and which means that you can also contribute to a relationship in a very different way. So if you just can't got over a relationship and you want to know how to handle it, the first thing is you got to start focusing on you. That's the bottom line. Focus on you. What are the things that you've been wanting to do that maybe you've put off? Maybe you want to look into yoga. Maybe you want to take tennis lessons. Maybe you want to just start, you know, taking different, um, courses, or maybe you want to look into getting another job because maybe you didn't like your job. So just know that you want to start focusing on you and start doing things to really keep yourself distracted. The more you keep yourself distracted and busy focused on you, the more you're going to start to feel better. And when you start to feel better, the relationship is going to start to soften up a little bit in terms of the breakup. So really make a point to focus on you. And really the other thing is, and this is really important too, don't talk about it with anybody. Very often people have a breakup, they talk about it with every Sally, Sue, and John, and that's the worst thing to do. When someone says, hey, what happened? You know, I'd say, oh, you know, he was a really great guy, just didn't work out. Even if he wasn't a great guy, just say it anyway. Because, A, you just weren't right for each other. No harm, no foul, very simple. And plus, you don't want to talk about it. The more you talk about it, the more you keep that old breakup or that relationship in your experience. And what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to move past the experience and past the relationship, which means you cannot talk about it. And there'll be people who will want to drag it out of you and you'll want to maybe go there and say all the negative things about it. Don't do it because you're just going to perpetuate the breakup and you're going to then possibly attract someone just like the person that just left you or that you just left. You don't want to do that. So again, focus on yourself, distract yourself, get out there, start doing things that you've been putting off that maybe you haven't done for yourself because you have been in a relationship and then don't talk about it. You got it? That's it. Hope you loved today's video. And if you did, please like it. And then also, if you think anyone else could benefit from this, please share this video as well. And then also please subscribe to my channel as I love to teach people how to start loving life because it's so easy and everyone needs to know this because it's all about the way you think. It's all about your positive aspect, your positive perspective. And once you know kind of how life works, you'll realize that life is quite amazing and you really have quite a lot of control on what you live. And uh, that's what I want to share with you guys. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.